the question is... Advisory Golden Area, Victor Hotel, Zulu, two of six. Hello. So I'm back uh, in standing outside and partly being inside Victor Rosco Tango. Uh, just having had my lunch, there's what's there's what's left of it. Um, yeah, it was pretty tasty. This is a, this is a cool spot. If you want to come down and, and you know get something a little tasty, you should, you should swing by. Swing by the uh, the Sky High Dinner at Vernon Airport. Hashtag not sponsor, but if you want to sponsor me, reach out. But yeah, it is now time for me to pack up and get going. I gotta switch, do some camera stuff and whatever else. But um, well, there's no buts. I just gotta go. So here we go. We're in traffic, Cessna Gulf, Victor Oscar Tango is uh, entering 2-3 from Alpha, backtracking to, rat tracking to take off of 2-3. We're in traffic. Straight out departure. Final looks clear. Everything looks good. Let's do a little backtrack here. Hopefully my landing back in Cal is a little better. If I make it back quick enough, I might do a couple extra landings, just because God knows I need the practice. And we're in traffic, Cessna Golf, Victor Oscar Tango's row 123, Vernon, straight out departure. Here we go. Alright, so airspeed's alive. TSPs are in the green. There's 45, 50, 55, rotate, and we're already flying. Nice and gentle, so it is very warm here right now. The density of the altitude. Basically, it's so, the higher you are, let me brag up. The higher you are in the air, the less air there is moving over your wings. And so the less uh, lift you have, the less your wings can pull you up in the air. So, so when it's hot out and uh, the air gets thinner, your plane doesn't perform as well. So yeah, the planes tend to like cold weather. Unlike me, I like hot weather. We'll gloss over that. So right now it's hot enough and the air pressure is light enough that compared to what it sh what uh, the st standard air pressure, the plane thinks I'm a thousand feet higher than I am. So, yeah, I'm not expecting fantastic performance heading back. But, uh, you know, what do you do? Okay, so I think at this point I should be fairly clear of Vernon traffic. Hopefully, I'm kind of over the lake still. I'm going to take this shortcut back as well, I think. I want to get back quickly. I know originally my plan was to go elsewhere, but uh, air is clear, radio is fairly clear, so I think I'm going to take the shortcut. Uh, north uh, Okanagan traffic, System 172 Gulf Victor Oscar Tango is about five miles west of Vernon, northbound, uh, going up the valley towards Kamloops. 1267 traffic into the Sandy of Vernon, Gulf Victor Oscar Tango. About the same altitude. Oh, whoops. Well, I gotta say, that was a very nice lunch. That was a lovely lunch. What a great place to stop. What a nice little spot. Shout out to the uh, the random person at the airport who let me stop them um, and just be like, hey, do you fly here? He's like, yep. And I noticed he was wearing a, as soon as I asked the question, I noticed he was wearing a helicopter hat. So I'm like, oh, hopefully. He's like, yep. And I was like, great. So uh, I'm out of town. Uh, terminal door is locked. How do I get back to my plane? So yeah, shout out to that person for giving me the code to be able to do that. Anyway, so we're climbing to 6,500 feet, and we are well on our way. Yeah, lots of stuff going on around Vern. There's, like, people parachuting and um, stuff. Lots of traffic in Vernon today. I wonder why Vernon's so busy, but, but I'm glad we made it work. I'm glad we were able to make this work. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. I'm glad the smoke kind of stayed away. Looking behind me, quite hazy from the fires and things. Um, like I guess there was a massive fire near, north of Kelowna, uh, which is kind of hard to see from where I am, but you can definitely see all the smoke in there back there. I actually didn't even know there was a fire there. I just happened to meet somebody randomly. They were like, yeah, I got evacuated from Kelowna. I'm like, there's a fire near Kelowna? Yeah, turns out there was. Turns out there was a big fire near Kelowna, and then it jumped the lake, and that was the whole thing. So, yeah. And even looking below me right now, can see forests don't normally look like that. Forests normally look more like that. So you can really kind of tell that like 
can really tell the difference between where a fire has been and where a fire has been. How are we doing? All right, we are approach. We are fast approaching Falkland. I am way too high up in the air. Let me level off here. Falkland is right at the tippy top of that. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, gotcha. Actually, I'm gonna have to make a pretty sharpish turn. I think get around that mountain. Just realized, yeah, there's Falkland, and I kind of have to go whoop, up between the, up the little valley right up in there. So I'm gonna have to uh, make a move here, pretty sharpish. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn slightly to the right first. Give myself a slightly less steep turn to make. Okanagan okay, traffic, Cessna 172, Golf Victor, Oscar Tango, about three miles southeast of Falkland, following the highway back toward Kamloops. I'm at 6,500 feet. Okanagan okay, traffic, Cessna Golf Victor, Oscar Tango. I th I'm expecting. I think I was expecting a bit of a headwind on the way back, actually, so hopefully, although it looks like I have a bit of a tailwind right now, but it looks like I have a significant tailwind right now, which is probably partly why it's so bumpy. I'm trying to very carefully balance my speed and my trim. I want to fly straight and level, but I kind of also want to fly quickly. 6,500 feet, I should be fairly clear. Most people like to try to stay closer to the ground, I think, or a lot of people try to stay closer to the ground, I think. I like to stay higher up because I figure if something goes wrong, then you've got more time before before you hit the ground, for better or for worse. I'll make, I'm going to make another call once I get to Westwold, which is just at the end of this valley. I mean, look how pretty this is. Look at that. Can you see that on this camera? Yeah, you can. Look, look, look how pretty that is. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. BC, baby. You know how we do. British Columbia, come visit. Come say hi. All right, so I can see where I'm going. Um, I don't want to cut that corner too, to be honest with you, but I won't. That corner I don't think I need to cut. 20 minutes, half past, yeah, I'm going to be getting back early regardless, so, so yeah, we got time. I can call now too, I went five miles east of Westwold, but five miles east of West. Five miles east of Westwold, 6,500 feet, hold up the highway where Camelot Traffic in the vicinity of Westwold, the Cessna 172 Golf Victor Oscar Tango, 6,500 feet, about five miles east of Westwold, going up Highway 97 westbound toward Kamloops. 1267 traffic, Golf Victor Oscar Tango. Got a little bit of speed. 67 traffic, Armstrong Area, Cessna 172 Golf Sierra Fox Shirt Romeo, level at 4,500 feet over Mount Armstrong, proceeding west up Falkland Valley at 4,500. Cessna 172 Golf Sierra Fox Romeo. Falkland Valley? They might be coming up behind me. But I think they are coming up behind me. Bump there, let's maybe pull a touch more power out. Pull the nose up a bit too, and just slow down. Definitely a tailwind right now. Uh, I'm doing 95 knots through the air, and 108 over the ground. So we've got a brisk tailwind, which is great. Which is great, that's going to get me home sooner. Not great for the bumps, but... Great for the speed! Whew. How's everybody doing? The thing about it is that my life's been really boring lately. Like, nothing's been going on. My life in general, I obviously haven't been flying much. Um, and so normally, when I'm doing these flights, I have something to talk about. And right now, it's like, if you follow me in other parts of the internet, you'll know I also make music, um, and I haven't doing much of that, so, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of sad. Alright, where's Monty Creek, do you reckon? Monty Creek is kind of slightly to my right. Yeah, it's going to be a short trip back. Short trip back. Looking back at all the farms and the lakes and things, I'm telling you, it's so pretty up here. That's a uh, lovely little Monty Lake just below me down here. All right, so this time when I'm landing, unlike last my last landing, I am going to extend a little bit so I have more time on final. If I have time, if it's not super busy or whatever, my GPS is saying I've got I'm 13 minutes out. Which I mean, is that even true? So for those of you who don't know me, I grew up on the West Coast uh, in an area that's very green, very lush, you know, lots of rainforest, that sort of thing. Um, 
this area of the world is very arid. Technically, this area is, is actually uh, semi-arid. That's the, I think, the official name of the environment is semi-arid. Um, but I tell you, every place has its uh, has, has its beauty. Every place kind of has its uh, has the pretties. It's just cool seeing like the farms and the rivers and the lakes around here. And nice spot. I'm biased. I admit it. I'm also right. East Kamloops traffic, Cessna 172, Golf Victor, Oscar Tango, 6,500 feet over Monte Creek, westbound toward Kamloops. Monte Creek traffic, Cessna Golf Victor, Oscar Tango. Can I see the airports I'm looking at? Yeah, maybe. Okay, need to be a little bit careful because... Uh, okay, I need to just kind of sneak over to the north side. So basically right now, I almost directly lined up with the runway that way. So not that way, but that way. Uh, however, if there's like a commercial plane coming in, they are going to basically rear-end me. And we want to try to avoid that. So I'm going to go over onto the north side and actually follow the VFR route a bit more closely. Just to make sure we stay out of the way of uh, any other incoming and very fast, very big... Planes. Kamloops Radio, Cessna, Cessna 172, Golf Victor Oscar Tango. Golf Victor Oscar Tango, Camps Radio. Golf Victor Oscar Tango, 6,400 feet, uh, about 14 miles east of the airport, coming in for a uh, full stop. Victor Oscar Tango, Squawk Ident, runway 09, wind 100 at 6, altimeter 3015. Traffic, 19 miles to the west, inbound straight in one way, 09 is a Falcon 2000, estimating the field in five minutes. And still doing a run-up is a company Cherokee for left-hand circuits of 09. On the roll, runway 09, eastbound, Cessna 172. Roger, Ida. Uh, Roger, I'll enter the Dallas left down wind for runway 09. Victor Stango, Roger, runway 09, report entering the zone. We'll go, Victor Stango. So I need to be down at, what, 2,100 feet or something? And I'm at like 5,100 feet? Oof. I need to drop it like a thought. Actually, this is a decent descent right here. I think I should be fine doing this. Still a big old tailwind, though. Even from here, my tailwind component's like well over 15 knots. But hey, I mean, I'm, I'm not due for another half hour, so... Nothing's going to be additional traffic. Uh, uh, nine miles to the east, and then for the left hand downwind, runway zero 09. So it's now sending me to descending out at 5,100 feet. Me. Golf South to Luca back. We'll keep an eye out for the traffic, and we'll go slightly southeast. Uh, Roger, thanks, and break, break, Victor Oscar Dango. Traffic, about your 12 o'clock now, and six miles to the southeast bound, Cessna 172. Looking for the traffic, Victor Oscar Dango. 12 o'clock, you didn't say the altitude. There's a plane coming toward me, but they're going to stay that side. That's good. I'm going to stay on the north side, so we should be fine. Cessna on a final, can't see it. And I have really good eyesight, too, by the way. Alright, I'm just going to turn this way a little bit just to make sure I'm well clear of everything and everyone. Camus Radio, Golf Fake Rock Tango entering the zone, descending through 3,900 feet. Victor Stango, Roger, the Falcon 2000, 5 mile final, runway 09. Looking for the traffic, Victor Oscar Tango. And Camus Anderson 244, coming up 4 mile final, runway 09. Anderson 244, Roger. I still can't see him. Oh! And Victor Oscar Tango has the traffic. Victor Tango, Roger, Carson, Boswell, Victor, Oswald, I'm the Falcon 2000. Victor, Oscar, Tango. I might land long if I can, actually. I probably shouldn't. And you really need to practice. But wake turbulence, though. You know what? There'll be other tastes I can practice. Let's just, we're going to land long. Last time I landed long, my landing was great. So, that plane touched down beautifully, just past the battle of markers. 
I could land just past that other markers, I guess. And Victor Oscar Tango turning final zero 09, full stop. Victor Oscar Tango, Roger. All right, definitely high up here. Let's go flaps 30. Slow it down. All right, so we're going a good speed. Well, I'm going to pull a bit more power out so I can drop a bit. Focus on your aiming point. Not doing too, not doing too badly. Uh, we are dropping like it's hot. A little bit slow, so I'm going to push the nose forward. Add a little bit of power, starting to drop now. Decently well lined up. Decently stable. Probably made the runway at this point. I probably pull all the power out. A little bit fast. I'm going to pull the nose up slightly. I'm going to pull the power. Or here. That landing was genuinely awful. Yeah, I pulled the power and it started to really drop. So, uh, yeah, I pulled back and then pulled back too hard because I wasn't sure and there's a whole thing. Not a great landing, this one. Not a great landing. Oh, well, what do you do? Anyways, uh, yeah. Well, that was fun. That was cool. I'm glad I got the chance to do that. Thanks for coming along with me for the ride. And we'll do this again one day. Maybe even Vernon, who knows? Maybe we'll go back there, go back there for a burger. But yeah, thanks for coming along with me, and uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a month. Okay, bye. All good. Literally all of it. A bit bouncy, that's not great, but other than that, it's good.